Good morning from my home here in my car now. Um, it feels like I'm back in Portland, except for the palm trees, because it's been raining and raining and raining and raining. So I put a little tarp that covers my window a bit, but it still leaks in here. And, oh gosh, I mean, I told you I've been giving updates and I'm gonna give updates. So here's what's been on my mind is I, you know, there's, there's an advantage to being online and being on Twitter and seeing what's going on and following the news. And then there's the negative side of it because some of it's ridiculous when you're seeing all these store shelves at Trader Joe's and everywhere. I'm just gonna go to, it's on my list to mask up and go to Trader Joe's. I'm even gonna put on my swim goggles because I don't have my other goggles in the mail yet. I'm gonna write on my t-shirt this one. I'm gonna get a marker out. I think I still have fabric pens somewhere in here. We'll see. And I'm gonna write why. I'm gonna write my conditions and that I'm in the immune compromise so people don't look at me so funny. And until they come up with like a symbol we can wear, somebody suggested like that is for people who have compromised conditions so people give them extra distance, um, I'm gonna do my own rogue style. So yeah, I've just been sitting here seeing all those shelves empty and everything and going, well, Everyone who's panicking that has homes and places and everyone's saying, oh, I'm going to be fine. I'm just going to cook, stay at home, you know, with my friends or my, I mean, my friend, or with their family or their roommates. And I'm not saying everybody can do this. We got people on the front lines that are going to work, that are running the Rite Aid today that I got to pick up my medication, that are staffing stores and different things. And they are amazing people. So not everyone is able to work from home or if you're homeless and you don't have money or a job, I'm saying um, that's, you know, I've contracted type jobs, like if I got a voiceover gig or something like that. But during this crisis, some people have no way to make another dollar and, and they don't have maybe credit cards um, or a credit line that's not maxed, that's already maxed out. And uh, I'm fortunate right now that I'm using my food stamps and I have saved until now my credit cards and now I'm just going to be racking up credit cards to go get food, uh, gas when I can, and ice for my meds and pay for my meds and stuff. So some people don't even have that. Um, I'm very fortunate in that regard. But at the same time, if, if I don't start asking for help and realize that you know, I'm not, there's going to become situations where you can't use your credit cards or something's happening. And I have no place in here. You look at this car. It is filled to the gills. So much though that I'm getting about 12 to 14 miles per gallon in this car now. Um, the box on top is stacked full. It's weighted down. My rear hitch weighted down. So there's not much more room for expansion. There's not room for a pile of, uh, you know, canned goods or, um, you know, even I was going to get a bunch of cartons of bone broth um, that I used to buy in a six pack from Costco. I'm sure they're sold out, but I have to find like a low sodium uh, bone broth, which is hard to find. Um, but I'm thinking about just buying animal fats and from like, you know, uh, beef tallow and trying to buy inexpensive, but good coconut oil that I don't think I'm going to be able to eat those fun foods. Like most people, I'm just going to have to get survival foods. And I've been trying to fatten up. Um, yesterday I bought a bag of like cereal of like puffed rice cereal and I ate the whole thing. I was like, I'm going to try cause I don't usually have an appetite. And I put MCT oil in it and everything, trying to just put some meat on my bones, which uh, I'm skinny. I don't have much meat on my bones. And so a little concerned as I'm going to be heading out of the city here uh, to try to get away from this virus. And 
I don't even have an extra water container because they're sold out. So I'm going to try to get a water container somehow without exposing myself and to the virus. I'm not talking about being a flasher and exposing myself. That's not what I'm doing in the pandemic. I don't think that helps. But if it helps, maybe other people, maybe I'll start doing it. But then I'll get arrested. You know, it's just not going to be good. But the thing is, I need water somehow to get. And I have to drink low mineral water so I don't end up in an emergency situation with my kidneys. And that's what I'm trying to do the most is beyond getting the coronavirus, I don't want one of my complications, which I've gone to an ER roughly every six months or so when you when you kind of average it out sometime or had to be an emergency of a sort. I don't want that to happen. I'm due. I don't want to say I'm due in a negative way. It's Friday the fucking 13th. I've broken three ribs on Friday the 13th. I've been robbed in Northern Thailand on Friday the 13th. I got a couple other stories. So I'm not moving much today. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's if I can, go get my medication, and watch Well, I finished Curb Your Enthusiasm last night, which I was howling here in my car. Larry David, if that was my last series I get to watch, that was fucking incredible. Oh my God, what a funny guy. Oh, brilliant. I don't know if anybody knows it, but it's so good. And so thankful that I had access to Wi-Fi for free here where I park, secret spot. And a family friend, family member, let me stream on their account, which is a godsend because, you know, I guess I'd be just finding, trying to twiddle my thumbs and soon I will be because I don't have a way to charge my stuff really because my solar power generator ain't no solar right now. So ran my CPAP last night on it. Probably the last night it will run because it's probably already expired my solar power generator. So you can see, um, I'm starting to get a little worried, but I'm not going to panic. No panic here. Uh, it's a little concerning. So I've put on these videos, my Venmo, my cash app until I crowdfund. I had a friend today that follows me on Twitter. He's been a friend and I'll just say this is an example. I, I, I can, I tell friends, if you just call me and check on me, it's it's amazing, and it's more than I can ask for. Um, most people don't do that. Sadly, I don't even have family that really does that. And just a text and, and seeing if I'm all right makes me know that people are checking on me. But I know people are concerned about themselves and their own family, and I get that. But I also have this particular hypothetical friend or whatever, they, they're in a quite a privileged position and uh, I don't know what to say when, you know, they only say, well, they're praying for me. And uh, I do appreciate prayers. And you know what? I thank them. But I did. I'm. This is a big deal for me because I said, you know what? Thank you for the prayers. And this is new for me because I can't, I have, this is hard for me to do. But I said, here's my Venmo. Here's my cash app. If you can send me the equivalent of a Starbucks coffee or something else. And if you don't have it, no big deal. I'm just putting it out there because if I don't ask, I'm never going to, um, I'm just going to be sitting here before and it's going to be too late. So that's something I'm beginning to do. It's hard for me to do, but those who feel that, um, they can chip in in any form at all, whether it's a dollar, it will really help because right now having a way to just Make sure I have the supplies I need while everyone else has, you know, storage and things of that nature. I don't have that and I'm getting a little concerned. So that said, I don't, that's not the reason I'm doing these things. I want people to follow along, to feel hopefully inspired and to bring some calm to the situation uh, because, you know, it, it's not going to help us to panic. And even in my circumstance now, even though it's, it's getting a little worrisome, I, I had to run my car most of the evening last night just to keep my, my device charged. So I have an emergency device to call and you know, that runs my gas. Now I'm going to be the super low on gas. It's, you get what I'm saying. It's not, it's not some 
Um, I'm not asking for fun. I'm asking for need. So enough about that. Thank you for watching. I'll keep updating from the road what's going on. And I'll update you hopefully on how crazy it is when I go out to the stores. Thank you. And is this a good angle for me? Like here? Do I look good like this? I bet I do. I'm kidding. I know I look like shit, but whatever.